it is Colin with hipsandsave.com and I am in my backyard. I'm about to show you guys an awesome and super simple DIY project. How would you like to take this thrift store bargain and turn it into an awesome and hip and cute DIY chalkboard? Yes, you can do it because if I can, because I'm not crafty, you guys can too. So basically what I did is I went to the thrift store. I found a picture like this, an art piece basically. All right, so this baby is $5.99. I also am donating an item so that I can get 20% off. So a bargain in itself. And then trust me, this will be turned into something really awesome. So the art piece can be um, donated, discarded, or used for another purpose. <laughs> Not sure what that would be yet. Make sure to have like holy clothes. See me? And you know, safety. Safety is always comes first with hip to save and call in most of the time. All right, so then after you take that glass out and clean that off and clean the wood, you're gonna spray paint this whatever color you want. Now keep in mind that if this is already painted, you may wanna use sandpaper just to sand it down, but I just have a completely non-painted one, so I'm good to go. So I just picked out some really fun colors and I'm gonna go with a green, which is kind of fun. And so you wanna be outside with tarp, get on your mask, and get ready to do some spray painting. Woo! Love this. Shake it up. Ugh. Yeah, you really need a mask for this. This is strong. <laughs> and you can just do this to the amount you want. You can either have the wood show through or you can make it so that it's completely covered. So this dries to the touch in about 20 minutes, which is crazy. So give it 20 minutes, maybe an hour or so, and you could also do a second layer if you want to. It just depends on how much like, of the frame you don't want to show if you don't want the wood to show. So I'm gonna let this dry. Take sandpaper and scuff up the glass. So just basically going back and forth, this is gonna make the chalkboard paint adhere a lot better. And then get some chalkboard paint. What is so awesome about chalkboard paint is like, I personally did not know that you could use this on glass. I always thought it had to be like wood or some other surface, but you can actually use it to wood, metal, drywall, plaster, glass, concrete, terracotta, paperboard, and hardboard. So keep in mind that if you find a picture that's not glass, you could still do it potentially on that. And then you're gonna use a good quality synthetic brush, but I'm thinking you should probably be doing it in like one direction. And you'll, you'll want to do two coats as well. Taking off my goggles now. Okay, so basically, after you're done with your chalkboard paint, remember you need to do two layers. Do the first one, wait three to six hours, let it dry, do a second layer, let that dry. Then after three days, I would say, you can put this together and then start writing on it with chalk. I mean, you could put it together before then, but you can't use chalk for like three days. All right, so a quick tip too, is after you wait those three days for the chalkboard to dry and everything to be good to go with your chalk, the first thing you wanna do is take your chalk and just on the side is like go up and down with it and get it everywhere and then just take an eraser and kind of go over it. That way the erasability, if that's a word, will be better in terms of erasing over the board after that. So that's just a great little tip to do. It says it on the little thing. So I'm gonna go with it. Time for dinner. Do you like my weekly menu? So this is what it goes from. This kind of ugly painting to this beautiful chalkboard masterpiece. Isn't it cute? So this is just one idea. You could do a weekly menu. You could do a honey to-do list. You could do a grocery list. You could do it up in your kids' like bathroom and put like brush your teeth, a chore list. There's just like so many different ideas and it's such an easy DIY. So if I can do it, I know you guys can too. And um, hopefully this motivates you to go make your house super cute. I will see you guys next time. Bye.